Hey guys, Randy here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, just wanted to introduce this power station to everybody because I know everybody's watching their pocketbooks right now, watching their bank accounts. Um, I know I am as well. This power station, I'm going to compare it. This is the Afri P210 uh, power station. I'm going to compare it to the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max, the Blue Eddy AC200 Max, the Anchor F2000, and the Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro. Just to give everybody an example of... Uh, of uh, just the similarities and the differences and why I think this is a really good bang for the buck. So why don't I start with that? Less than $1,000. $999 on sale right now, regular $14.99 on our website. Um, and, and we will have this sale price for a while. So this is a 2,048 watt hour battery capacity. So that's the size of the battery. Uh, it has 3,500 life cycles to 80%. Uh, so it is the newer battery chemistry, which is good. The ports on it, it has right here, let's see if you can see, six AC ports. They're rated at 2400 watts and 4800 watts surge. It has two USB-A ports that are rated at 18 watts that are there. It has uh, a total of four USB-C ports. One is 100 watts, which is awesome. The other, other three are 20 watts each. It has a cigarette lighter port, of course, which is this one here. Two DC5521 ports, an XT60i port, which is rated for 25 amp, which is quite handy. Um, it has a total of charging from the wall and solar, 1600 watts. The solar input is 500 watts, which is 11.5 volts to 50 volts and 20 amps. The weight of this unit is 48.4 uh, pounds and it offers seven-year warranty. That's actually the best in in when comparing all of these here This is not expandable However, for two of these at less than two thousand dollars for two It is going to be cheaper than any of the other options. I'm going to mention uh, With expansion batteries if they have that so here I will uh, grab the other ones and we'll compare them one by one just to give you guys an example see the difference uh, the similarities and you know why I think this is a good option oh yeah I'll show you this too it has a two carrying handles then you have storage right here as well too the solar charging on this one compared to the others is a little bit less um, I'm not gonna call that a negative because it is adequate for this size of a battery capacity because if you were to max out the solar at 500 watts, you're still going to get, it's going to be fully charged in approximately four hours from zero to 100%. So it, it's still adequate for what it is. Okay, so here, I will pause this. I'll be right back with the next power station. Back in a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So the one I'm going to now uh, compare with here, guys, is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. So same size battery as the Afri. They're both 2048 watt hour. Both have the same life cycles. Uh, 3,500 life cycles to 80% uh, because they have the newer battery chemistry, which is good. Um, both have six AC plugs that are 2,400 watt out, or sorry, 2,400 watt with 4,800 watt surge. Uh, this one, so now you have two USB ports and two, two USB Type C. So the Afri has two USB and four USB Type C. So that's, I guess, a bonus over that. Um, it has the Delta 2 Max has one cigarette lighter port, two DC5521 ports. The solar input on this, on the Delta 2 Max, it has two inputs. So each are 500 watts, 11 to 60 volts, and 15 amps. So they do that, so a little bit better solar input because of the fact that you can expand this as well too. So you can add an expansion battery. So now, the warranty on the Delta 2 Max, from what I was able to find on the EcoFlow website, the warranty on this is one year compared to seven years with the Afri. So now price point, EcoFlow Delta 2 Max currently right now on the EcoFlow website, and we're offering it for the same, is $14.99. So versus $999 for the Afri. If you were to add the expansion battery to the Delta 2 Max, according to the EcoFlow website, it would be $2,799. Now, keep in mind an expansion battery, yes, they are good. However, the, the, the expansion battery doesn't have any ports to power from, so you can't plug devices into it. And you, you don't have the ability to charge it from solar on its own either. So for me, I would rather have two Afri's at less than $2,000. So that's a savings of just over $800. 
And now I have two power stations that I can rotate versus having um, the Delta II Max with uh, an expansion battery. It just makes sense to me. So that's a big difference right there. Okay, so I will pull out, uh, the next one I'll pull out here in a quick second is a Blue Eddy, and then we'll compare that one, okay? So I'll be right back, guys. The next one that I'm going to, uh, to compare with is a Blue Eddy AC200 Max. So let's start with price. It's on sale right now for $11.99 on the Blue Eddy website. I believe they are discontinuing this one because they have so many new models. That's why it's at the lowest price I've ever seen it at. So it's uh, 2048 watt-hour battery capacity, same as the Afri. It has 3,500 life cycles to 80%, same as the Afri. Uh, the AC ports, which are your standard uh, wall plug-in ports, they're 2,200 watts and 4,800 watt surge, whereas the Afri is 2,400 watt and 4,800 watt surge. It has four USB-A ports and uh, one USB Type-C. So to me, I, I, I like the fact that the Afri has four USB Type-C and two USB because those are the uh, USB Type-C are kind of the newer ports being used. It does, of course, have a cigarette lighter uh, plug-in um, port. It does have uh, the two DC5521 ports. It does have the 30 amp RV uh, plug, which is this guy right here. I, I've never used that. I don't find value in it myself. Um, like when you compare it to the Afri, the Afri has a the 25 amp XT60 port. I, you know, I know some people do find value in it. I've just, I've never found a use for using that. I, I'd never plug my trailer RV into it, just based on, on how I use it. Um, the solar input. Solar input is 900 watts, 10 to 145 volts, 15 amps. The weight on this one is 61.9 pounds versus 48.4 pounds for the Afri. Uh, Bluetti offers a two-year warranty, whereas the Afri offers a seven-year warranty. Uh, the Blue Eddy with the expansion battery is going to be $2,148. Again, I would rather buy two Afri's at just under $2,000. And now I have, you know, two power stations I can rotate. That's, that's just my way of thinking. It's, it's less money and I've, I've got more versatility by doing that. But yeah, so that's, that's that. Okay, I'll be back in a moment and we will look at the Anchor F2000 next. Okay, guys. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to compare here is the Anchor F2000, formerly known as the Anchor 767. Uh, this one there, Anchor is discontinuing as well, so it's at a really low price right now. They're just blowing out the, their remaining stock, just like the Blue Eddy is with their AC200 Max. So the Anchor right now, let's compare pricing and everything, so you're at $12.99. So 1,299 is what it's at. Uh, again, compared to the Afri, it's 999. So you're looking at, you know, basically $300 difference there. Um, the same size battery, 2,048 watt hour, uh, Afri, same thing. Um, both have the same life cycles, 3,500 life cycles to 80%. Uh, you're looking at the four AC ports. They are 2,400 watt and 2,800 watt surge versus the Afri, which are, it has six of these at 2,400 watt and 4,800 watt surge. So that's a big bonus. It has two USB ports or USB-A. It has three USB Type-C. It has the two cigarette lighter ports. So that, that's kind of a bonus that it has that. It does have the 30 amp RV plug. Again, you know, it, it, some people may find value in that. I, I just, I don't use them on mine. I don't see the purpose based on how I use mine. Um, the, the solar charging, it is a thousand watts, 11 to 60 volts and 20 amps. And I know with their cable, you have to connect in parallel. If you use our solar blankets, we have ways, ways around that as well. Um, the weight. So this one is going to be the heaviest out of all of them. It is 67.2 pounds. The bonus is it does have the two wheels and the, uh, the pullout handle. Again, you compare the Afri, it's 48.4 pounds. So it is a bit lighter. The Anchor offers a five-year warranty. So it's the second best out of all of them because the... Oh, actually, no, there's, there's another one that has a five-year. I'll, I'll cover that in a moment. But um, the Afri is seven-year warranty, so it is the best out of all of them. Now, right now, if you were to buy the Anchor with the expansion battery on their website, it is $2,399 with expansion battery. Again, I would rather have two Afris with the same, same battery... Uh, capacity for less than two thousand dollars and then i have all of these ac ports usb ports i can rotate them have one charging from solar 
uh, while the other one's powering devices are both charging from solar or other powering devices. To me, that, that adds just way more versatility. Okay, so the I will be back in a second and we will talk about the last one, guys. Okay. Okay, so the last one I'm going to talk about and compare with is the Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro. So I don't have one here for demonstration purposes, but I'll make sure there's a photo so you can see the difference. Um, but basically, the specs on this one, uh, right now let's start with price. It's selling for $1,599 on their website. Uh, just so you guys know, we don't, we don't offer Jackery, uh, being it's something I wouldn't personally use myself. Um, so that's, that's why we're, we don't have one here physically to show and why it's not on our website. So it's $1,599 versus the Afri P210, which is $999. So there you go, about a $600 difference. Uh, the battery's a little bit bigger. It's 2,160 watt hour versus 2,048 watt hour. Now, this is the deal breaker for me for this specific one. It's got the older battery chemistry. So the Jackery has a thousand life cycles to 80%, whereas you're looking at 3,500 life cycles to 80% for the four that you can see right here. So other than that, it has three AC uh, plugs, so your regular wall plugs. They are 2,200 watts and 4,400 watt surge versus the Afri, which is 2,400 watts and 4,800 watt surge. It has two USB-A ports. It has two USB-C ports the one cigarette lighter plug, of course, two DC5521 ports, which is pretty much standard on all of them. It does have a 30 amp RV plug, whereas the Afri has the 25 amp um, XT60 plug. Again, some people find value in that. Uh, the solar charging capabilities. Now, this is the thing that I don't love about Jackery's is they have, they, they try to pigeonhole you into buying their solar. So uh, I didn't, I'll put the specs in there. I just I just uh, have the specs here for the um, the higher solar. So it's 17.5 to 60 volts, 12 amps, and you can do this twice. So at 700 watts, you can actually do up to 1400 watts. It is 43 pounds, so it is the closest to weight of the Afri, which is 48.4 pounds. They have five. It has a five-year warranty. The Jackery and there is no expansion battery capability. So when I compare all five, the four you, you physically see here, and then the Jackery that we're talking about, to me, the best bang for the buck is the Afri for what it offers and for the price point. And everybody right now is trying to save money. If you were, because of our interesting times, you want something for emergency backup, I highly recommend the Afri. This is my personal one right here. In fact, all four of these are my personal ones because none of these companies send us anything for free. I have to purchase them and then I do the reviews for you guys so you can understand, you know, give you real life um, experience on these. But yeah, I would definitely recommend the Afri over all of these. Um, all four of these models are good. If you're not wanting the Afri, you have the, uh, the other three here are good examples of um, good quality power stations as well too. But Afri is the least expensive. It is the lightest for the battery chemistry that it uses. Uh, it is very form fitting for the size and it, you know, it's, Afri has been around for 17 years and they offer a seven year warranty. You can't beat that. So I'll have links in the description below. Please like, and subscribe to our videos guys. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, this is on our website. Uh, we do have these in the U S and the Canadian, uh, warehouses. They're ready to ship. Uh, if you order from our website, there are, there is no sales tax and it's free shipping to lower 48 states and to provinces in Canada. Okay, guys, uh, it's a bit windy here, so hopefully you can hear me well. I've got the mic here. Um, I'll post this here today. And yeah, any questions, reach out to me. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I would be happy to answer any questions for you. If you're looking for a custom package, we do offer custom solar packages, and I can help you out with this as well, uh, including our solar blankets for uh, for charging these. But yeah, I just wanted to, to show everybody this, just to give everybody an inexpensive option that will work really well for them compared to everything else on the market today, okay? We'll talk to you soon, guys.